Hi guys, Ruche here. Welcome to another edition of Ruche Spot. Um, guys, thank you so much for your support so far. Um, overwhelmed by the. <laughs> anyway, so we're starting this edition with uh, a segment I like to call Nonsense We Make. So, guys, I've been thinking about something and this thing has been bugging me. So I thought maybe I should just let it out. It's about this case of getting your phone stolen. I personally think that getting your phone stolen should be like having chicken pox. You get chicken pox once and that's it. Phone stealing should be like that. Because there's some people that... They might never get their phone stolen. Some people just once. Some other people, two times, three times in their lifetime. Some people, almost all the time they go out, they'll collect their, they'll collect their phone from them. And, you know, it's traumatizing. It's, and, and there are people who, when they get their phone stolen, 5.55, they'll come online. On Facebook or wherever, which whatever app. Hi guys, I just got my phone stolen, and um, um, if you want to reach me, reach me on zero zero blah 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 blah. I'll be back as soon as possible. Five fifty five. They sent the post. Six o'clock. Hey guys, so I just got a new phone. Um, we are back. Well, I don't understand. How are you doing it? How? When my phone was stolen, nine months. Nobody see me online. Nine months. <laughs> I don't even want to go into detail what happened. I'm sure at some point people were reaching out to me. I, I'm sh I'm sure one or two people that reached out to me thought I have I've worked, you know, because I scarce. I scarce. Anyhow, so. I've been thinking about this thing because it was traumatizing for me. When they stole my phone, people came for condolence visit. Even when my mother died, they didn't, they didn't visit me like that. That's how serious it was. Eh? So, now I'm thinking, this was stealing phones. They are, this was stealing phones. They are human beings. I'm sure, like, they will have small sympathy now. Eh? So, when they steal your phone once, you should be able to identify yourself as somebody who has gotten their phone stolen so they should um find a way to identify you so my suggestion now is they should be selling tickets people when they come to steal your phone if they call your phone they give you tickets so that next time if you've managed to get a new phone and you are going out and somebody else wants to you you bring out your ticket you show them say ah that be customer or have you know so it will just balance out though because me now i'm all about balance you balance it out so that let them collect people's phone that they've not collected before you know right i mean you guys seriously verbal trailer verbal trailer Hey, welcome to Verbal Trailer. On this edition of Verbal Trailer, we'll be we'll be um, Verbal Trailing the movie, the the Nigerian movie, The Women. The Women is written by Blessing Egbe. I'm focusing on the writer because <laughs> I want to push us out there. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so it's a star studded star studded movie. Star studded has the likes of Ketensha, Katrin, Ufoma, Omoni. They're like the four major characters for the female. Then Femi Branch, Kalu, Gregory Jefwa. You know, it was star studded. So the, the story is about a group of women who are friends, but in that group, they are like sub cliques in that group. They are four, but they are sub cliques in that group. So um, um, Ufoma's character was turning for attention. She wanted to do her birthday party, but there was no money like that. But she still wanted to do it because I mean, forty years—that's it's a big one, you know. So 
she gathered her three friends with their spouses to a hotel. Now, but Amanda's, uh, Amanda Gold's character wasn't having it, you know. She she started to quarrel. You no, know, when they were, you know, trying to check in, she she wasn't having it because the rooms, according to her, the rooms were not up to her standard. So she was she was looking for an upgrade. So she, at that point of getting an upgrade, they asked her that they asked her to pay for the extra money. I think it was a hundred thousand extra from the original money. So she was having a a small altercation with the receptionist so so this is where Ketensha's character comes in remember they're all friends so Ketensha's character comes in and drags her away now this is the cocoa of the whole thing so then she's thinking Ketensha was like on eh, have you heard from Omo that's what Fomas character have you heard from Omo Omo was like I've not heard from her. I don't care where she is. I don't know her room number. I don't blah blah blah. I'm like, hmm, she's she's organizing a party. Whether it's big, whether it's small party, big party, is it, it will take a toll on. But please, a man's was like, please. Hmm? This is this is this is as in this the party is not, it's not even worth it. Forty years, forty years. It's a big one, no. Ketensha's character was like. In some cases, it happens more than once. Like in this case, a monster character was like, eh? Is she not 40 years? Okay, then she was like, for six. It was just like, what? It was crazy. So, I mean, the movie is just, the movie is absolutely amazing. I love the movie. I think you should check it out. It's, it's an old movie, but you really like it. If you've seen it, comment, comment, and no, let us know what you think too. That's it for Baba Trailer. Bye, boy. I hung out with my guys last night, and you will not believe it, but they couldn't shut up about how they think my woman is out of my league. I didn't say anything. And when they realized I wasn't responding, they asked why I was keeping quiet. Look, I don't know how to break this down in a way that they grasp, but let me break it down for you. You know how there's Ronaldo, there's Messi and all these other amazing players in football. And then there's Gianni Infantino. I am Gianni Infantino. When I finished this explanation, very brief, they, they stared at me in consternation and couldn't make out what I was trying to pass across to them. No wonder they had the effrontery, the guts, the cojones, the gumption, the temerity. To dare say that my woman is out of my league. Now by league. Uli I beg you. And sin. That was Richie's words. Thank you. Ah! Oh my god. Well. Richie's word is, has to be my favorite segment. I don't know. You can comment and tell me what your favorite segment is, but for me, Richie was my favorite segment. Thank you, Judo Bafemi, for that wonderful rendition. I believe that the world is a stage and we are all actors. So, if you're interested, I think you can be like, you think you can, you know, I think you can. So, just send us an indication. Let us know if you want to be a part of Richie's words. Anyway, that's it for this episode thank you guys join us next time for more nonsense because we promised you nonsense so i don't know why i keep saying we but yeah we, we get... <laughs> anyway so see you next time remember like comment let us know what you think and don't forget to subscribe subscribe 
you can ring the bell so that you can be notified every time we drop a cool video all right so catch you next time bye